Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. So as you can see, I've taken all the plaster off here, it's all come off, it's all nice, that's the mess. Chris wants to remove this, so on his own head be it, he's going to do it. <laughs> To be fair, I didn't break that brick, it was already broken and it hasn't got a back on it either okay. and neither has this one. Oh yeah. So that's got a back on it but these two these don't. These two don't. Yeah. Anyway, if we open it up like the other one, hang on, I might be shouting, if I open it up the same as the other one with that, not only is it going to match, but then we can get one of them fan things that sits on top of the log burner. Yes. And it's going to send it out. Yes. Which would be better. And I think we ought to plaster this in lime plaster. The same as we have on the other side. The same as, well. as we have on the other side, because yeah. we'll never clean these up. A lot of these bricks are damaged. Yes. And they it'll are. stick to it. And um, if we use lime, not the NHL, but normal lime, it's relatively, it's quite heat resistant as well. It's not going to get damaged by the heat. Yes. Um, not like cement, it doesn't damage it and then to the same extent. Easy to hide things like these bad chips and what have you, because we can just plaster it like we did the other side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it'll match a it smaller beats. version of. <coughs> okay? Yep. Right. And under there, there's two metal bars. It's stuck. <laughs> Today you can see it. That's the, the drill. The, 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 uh, is it called the drill at that point? Can I have Russell, please? You what? Russell. Yes, where have you put it? I don't know. Okay. Over there. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> so. It's bowing there, but it's also lifting here. I keep looking at you with being blinded by that light. Does it look better? It's a song, right? Oh no! Manfred Mann's Earth Band! <laughs> no, it looks awful. Put it back. Okay. Not we should do it the way the previous people did it. Just yeah. bundle it up and just <laughs> back it down. There you go. Definitely looks better. Apart from the Cyberman in the corner. Yes. <clears throat> and we now know that none of this it's supportive. Yeah. There isn't even a lintel on top of this, I don't think. There it's might be because there. there's one here. Yeah, I can see the other side of it. <clears throat> potentially this, runs down. This part is holding that lintel and this lintel. This lintel's nearly not on it at all. Yeah. So there's no weight above us. Yes. The, the land itself, this is not supporting it. Yep. It's just supporting that lintel and that lintel there. So that's cool because this side, uh, the far side, and you'll be able to see with the camera, there's nothing there. It's about all there is. Spiderwebs. Camera should be able to pick it up. It should be just enough light. Okay, I don't think there is it. I think the camera's going to Now, if you thing. point this way through, hit this hole here, you'll be able to see the spiderwebs above where it's not actually supporting anything. Here. Yeah. You can see it definitely with your eyes. 
I believe they're coming back to pick it up too. Okay. Okay, so this is the one on the other side. There's also some junk being stored here because we're working on the other in cave too. But this had the same, it had a lintel running from there to there with two bars in it exactly the same way. And that's how we ended up finishing it. It's going to be pointed yet to be nice and neat. Again, these same horrible bricks and same varnished. Don't understand why. Seems a very peculiar thing to do. So we'll achieve the same over there. Yeah, we was going we was going to leave it because we thought this was structural all the way up, so we didn't want any issues. Yes. And now we know it's not, and we can finally remove it. Yeah. So I'm gonna use Russell the crowbar. Okay. Dover, come out of there, sweetheart. Good boy. We, we did the other one with the hammer. We did. But I think this one might be a little bit more gentle. Ready? Mm-hmm. Go in. Actually, this one's going really easy. Nice. Ah, blow my brain. Don't mind. Don't yeah, mind, don't plaster it anyway. That's one. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to try and repair that brick. I think I'm going to take this brick out. It's only a half. Yes. And save one of these and okay. slide it back in. Okay. I don't know how to do this side though, this one. Because that one was easy. I had something to lever against. Back to the angle grinder. I was going to say, we actually, the, the other side, I just remembered we cut that bar with the angle grinder and then wriggled each side okay. out. Yeah. I don't know if I've got any metal discs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's just it's in very, very well. Got a disc. <coughs> Got a metal disc. Metal cutting disc that is. <laughs> Got my special windows. And my earphones. This doesn't um, offer any protection from that. Oh. From the heat. But it's fine. Hey, Dover, come out, mate. Come on. Good boy. Nice and rusty. Oh, that had really rusted in. Yes. Okay, so see how it's got to come out. Yes. But uh that's Ow. cool. <laughs> that was hot. Oh, I'm sorry, baby, you keep talking to me and I keep looking at you and not the and the light. I'm sorry. That was hot on the cut end still. I've just burnt my hands. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> oh but what? Yes, dragon breath. It is in here. There we go. Always looks better when it's finished and tidied up. So, on the morrow, we'll be fixing that brick there and mounting the tubing and the socket backs for where we want the sockets. And then this area is ready for plaster. You stop saying that. That's it. It is it. No, but it might not be because we keep finding other things. Just stop saying it. A very, very well camouflaged moth. <laughs> I'll see if I can go in and then make it focus as well. Yes. Pretty pretty. We can't see you at all. No, we can't see you. I didn't spot you. <laughs> no way. 
It's yeah. very cold this morning and we've yeah. been up a very long time because our skip should have been here. An hour ago. An hour ago. <laughs> so, I'm going to go make more coffee. Yes, yes. It's frost. I've moved the car out from the driveway up to uh, outside on the lane. I'll put it away later. Expecting the skip and it was covered in frost. It was frosted Again. up. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> and the roof of the uh, outside kitchen is all frosty as well. Mm. Time to uh, make some more top up water for the big fish tank. So I'll be making uh, 25 litres of arrow water. What I'm going to do is show for people who, uh, who may or may not know how much wastage there is. So this is the tub that will be getting filled up and uh, I'll just take you outside and show you the rest of the experiment. And this is a approximately a hundred litre dustbin that we've been using for storing the water in the wastewater before we eventually get it put along there and then down into the IBC. Right, where am I? Okay, so this is the wastewater being produced. Look at the speed of that. While we're waiting for the skip to come, which was supposed to come last night, and then things happened apparently, and then it was faithfully promised for first thing this morning, and that was two hours ago, and I have chased him up, and twice he said, yes, yes, within the hour, within the hour. We're just gonna review what's going on in here. We are going to be making a mix of lime today for filling holes. At the same time, we will point up where the metal bar was, take this part brick out. We saved one of the bricks from here and put that in as a whole brick, so that's good. We're not gonna bother connecting this up as yet because we don't need it. Um, it can just stay like that. It'll get bagged up for when it lime plaster happens so that no lime ends up on the, on the wires. It's, Chris has isolated it. It's all perfectly safe. We're good to go. So to that end, um, what I'm gonna do first <coughs> is in this back bedroom, put the plastic down on the floor. Get it approximate, and then you can take. <coughs> <coughs> out. Yeah, I think it helped that it's been doubled over and involved. Yes. Yeah. Um, so if we cut now along there, I know it's going to be too much, but we can use it over there as well, can't yes, we? Yes. Yeah. If I get the craft knife. Yes, you'll be cutting, we'll be cutting that other bit off as well. Yeah. This will have a nice roll and we'll deal with this mess. Yeah, right. Come on, Skip, out of the way, mate. You can't play on the polythene. Come on, out of the way, boss. Good boy. I know, you're a good boy. Just keep you out of the way. The boss is using a sharp knife and you're not allowed on the polythene. Feels like I've got carpet. I've taken my shoes off. <coughs> Yes, no Dover, you're not allowed in there, mate. Come on. Come on, Ski. Dover. Go see. Go see. Go see. Go see. <coughs> Last thing you want is the start is running all over it. Yep. Alright, I'm staying out of your way. Uh, I think that'll be better because that means I'm not walking all over it as well. Right, that's this room ready for uh, polythene. It's all been set up. And we'll uh, trim that light tubing down the flex there once this is polythene, because it'll just be easier with that light bulb on. <laughs> what are you hiding in there for? I'm trying to cut around these walls. I'm no carpet fitter, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten this bit cut. Do you remember there was a little bit of funny shelf thing here, so the floor tiles actually go do 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 do. Awesome. Yes. You sorted it. Hmm? Are you sorted it? Yes. Can you? I know. And you didn't even need my help. Well, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> stay away. Yeah. Stay away. Well, I've set that back room up now as well. <laughs> that's sort of polythene. 
Okay, good. Done. Don't ever ask me to lay an eye now. It's anything but perfect, but it doesn't need to be. <coughs> That's cold. It's just going to save the floor from the horrendous lime coverage that you end up with. When we did the corral, the, the dining room upstairs, we then laid the floor afterwards. We did the walls first. Um, the cathedral bedroom, as we call it, that we did for the TV camera, we didn't bother covering the floor because we're going to be retiling the floor. Doesn't matter. This matters. I'm not spending hours and hours and hours getting lime off this floor. If it does go on it, it is relatively easy to do. But a big area? No, nah, just not going there. No. That's right. So, still waiting for the skip, so I will continue with uh, covering floors. Yeah. That's all we can do. Oh dear. Yeah. And the 25 litre tub still isn't full. There's a lot of wasted water. Isn't it? Well, that bin says it's 100 litres. Yes. Yes, Doug, so you are fine to drink it, but I wouldn't. It is still safe. Yeah, the bin says 100 litres on the side. And I'm trying to make 25 litres of reverse osmosis water, which incidentally, the TDP on it is 15. Or is it 14? 14, you said. 14. Which is brilliant from 450. Yes. This would be terrible. Oh, God knows what this will be. But the so, wastage is crazy. The wastage is really, really bad. So I've just come inside to show you. That's how full that tank is. It's not. And that's with all that wastage outside. It's a very, very wasteful system. While well, we're still waiting for the skip, it's now five hours later than told. We live with it. Anyway, I was just going over this sprayer machine that we used before. And uh, I noticed that the plunger was incredibly difficult to move. Something that I should have done, but I didn't realise I should have done, was strip it down after use and grease it up. Look, it's gone all rusty. Fortunately, I've managed to get the O-ring off um, and there's no ring there. A little tiny... So when I'm using it, the handle goes down and that's the plunger. Yeah, that's the plunger there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then there's o-ring on the outside and an o-ring on the inside of that piece and there's a little tiny tiny little o-ring there that sits in here i'm gonna have to clean it up well, this is a silicon grease which is uh waterproof and it's it's uh, it's good stuff and it also lubricates these o-rings too you just slide the airing back down. That's fitting into its groove. Don't want dog hairs. <laughs> okay, sorry. okay, so I've cleaned it all up inside. I've got some silicon grease. Don't know if you can see that. I just need a little tool to put it around. So I just use this screwdriver to make sure the uh, airing gets plenty of uh, grease onto it. Well, that's the skip delivered. Yeah, weird Strangest skip. skip I've ever seen. And what did he say that box was for? He says if you're doing works somewhere, it means you can lock up your tools in this <coughs> metal tin. Move dogs, move. Move, move. Okay. Yeah, it's got a lock. It looks like it's got a thing going across. You'll need the key to open it. Yeah. So, yes, it's... When they're working places want to go back backwards and forwards, you can leave tools locked up in it. Brilliant. We shouldn't need a bigger skip than that, surely. No. He wasn't very happy. Oh. Not his usual chatty self. But uh, I guess I hassled him a few too many times today for my skip. Yes. But I've got one now. Yes. So. Right, back to this. I didn't think I'd have to do this maintenance. But I'm glad I did. Because now... It'll work. It's not a very strong spring. Just 
to use these moldies. Sorry. Sorry, my bad. That's it, that's nipped up. That's the threaded side. This is really poor as well, there's so much movement in that. It's as if it needs an insert in it. Maybe the ones that are exactly the same that you find on Amazon that are like three and four hundred euros instead of sixty that look exactly the same. Maybe they have that little insert. Maybe they do. I doubt it very much. Yes. Because they're exactly the same. Same labelling, it's just some people take the Mickey. There we go. There you go. Oh nice and smooth again. Nice. And that's your other one built. I stripped it down like I did the old, the used one that we, uh, we've used before. And it's all greased up. I've added silicon grease in there. The O-rings are bone dry. <sighs> anyway, it works. It's all been done up. Right, ready to go. No excuse. No excuse for you. <laughs> Like that, it should work. Oh, it's easy one with a ramp. Shame what the hinges is missing. Yes, it's a bit of a state, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Should we look? Paint on it, really. it's got, yeah, they've painted it freshly. It's got a hinge bolt there, a hinge bolt there. There's not one here. Um, and it has relatively recently been painted. But they didn't bother behind this. <laughs> well, anyway, these bubble sacks were not really a waste of money because I can tip stuff out and we can yes. reuse them again. Yes. I think some of them might tear with what we put in them, but I think some of them might be okay. I'm hoping so. We're not going to get as much done as we would like. However, we're still achieving and very happy. The plastic is down in this room, which is brilliant. Scaffolding is up. We're good to go on that. <clears throat> I've started on this plastic on this side. You see I've got this far. That little room's done. I will continue to tackle this area for the rest of the day today. But from a point of view, I think, I think Chris will come back in a minute and agree with me. From a point of view of starting to mix lime and then with the afterwards the cleaning of the machines etc etc you like to do that at the beginning of the day really because an awful lot of cleaning up afterwards is that the last little bit it is enough yes oh okay yeah this was a if you go and look now the black's down, you can see the wall comes in and it goes out and, out and that isn't square, it's, it's everything's like down. Okay. But it's down. Awesome. So we've had a time putting bits in the skip. Yes. We've made some decisions on the lighting in the main cave bit. Yes. Did you mention about us not doing any lime in that we was intending to do because of it was too late? In the, yes, because it was too late in the day, and um, we need to do it in the beginning of the day because once you finish mixing using the machine, it takes a good couple of hours to get the machine clean and then dried properly before putting it away. We don't want it to rust up, no, so it. it's just it's a time constraint thing. Yes, and this has taken a lot longer than we expected. Yeah, and. Uh, this had to go down before we was doing any of the live anyway, so... Exactly. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.